Hi, this is a demo for the group deploy tokens. Group deploy tokens is a new feature that ships with GitLab 12.8. It allows users to create deploy tokens at the group level, which means that after creating such deploy token, they can, they'll be able to use the same token to clone projects belonging to that group or belonging to subgroups of that group. A link to that issue can be found in the description of this video. Let's go through an example. Let's say that we have the food group and in it we have two subgroups, the fruits and vegetables groups. In fruits group, we have one project, the orange project, and in vegetables group, we have two projects, carrot and broccoli project. We want to be able to clone those three private projects using the same deploy token. So we're going to need to create a group deploy token at the group that that is common to all those three projects. That's the food group. Going back to that group, we can go to settings and CI CD. And we can see that a new section was added, the deploy token section, which is pretty similar to the deploy token section at the project level. Let's create a new token. Let's call this one the food token. Let's say that it expires in 2021, sometimes in February. 20. We're going to give it a scope, the read repository scope. There we go. Here's our token. I'm going to uh, make a note of it. go and we are going to try it out let's say that we want to clone the orange project with it I'm gonna go here and I'm going to copy the HTTP URL here I'm going to amend it so that it includes first our group deploy token username and our group deploy token password. Perfect. And we are going to try if we can clone this. Excellent. We just cloned our orange project. Now, we're gonna use the same token to clone our vegetable, one of our projects in the vegetable group let's say the broccoli project. I'm not going to copy paste its URL, I'm just going to modify this one here by just changing the name of the group and the name of the project. Let's give this a try. Excellent. We have cloned two projects belonging to two different groups, but belonging to the same supergroup. And we've done that by, uh, by creating uh, a, a group deploy token at the super at this supergroup level. So if we want, we could also create a group deploy token just for the vegetables projects. We're going to try to do that. So at the vegetables group level, we're going to go to setting CICD deploy tokens. We see I mentioned that there is that this group has no active deploy tokens, right? We have a deploy token f at the food level, but for that group, we don't have any uh, deploy tokens. We're going to call this one vegetable token. We're going to have it expired, let's say next, next month. And we have here our new vegetable deploy token. I'm going to make note of it. And 
we're gonna try to first clone the orange project with this new token as we expect it shouldn't work but with such a token we should be able to create to clone sorry the broccoli project let's give this a try before doing that i'm going to remove those two projects i cloned earlier and i try to clone this here oh sorry This is the, uh, the message that we should have. Yes, the project you were looking for could not be found. Using the vegetable group deploy token, we cannot clone that orange project as expected. Now, if we are trying to uh, to clone the broccoli project, then it should be successful. Excellent. We have a broccoli project. And that's basically it regarding the group group deploy tokens. Thank you for watching.